Okay guys, this is our Rhino 21 gallon portable waste tank that we got to go with the pop-up. I used a five gallon can on our last camping trip and I accidentally hit it with a water hose and tipped it over so we spilt some of it. Luckily it wasn't much and it was just water. We had just rinsed off some dishes so it was nothing bad in the water or anything. I think I have a way. I could set this up on the roof rack and haul it, but I'm going to explore other... Let me flip this over and see what the other side looks like. Alright, here's the other side of the box. And this comes with everything that's in this kit right here. Got a little bit of light glare on it, so excuse that. Now this has a hook, you can see it right here. That if you have a ladder rack on your camper, you can hook that on there. And this tank has grooves that you put your strap in, you ratchet strap it to your uh, ladder rack. Like in this picture here. We don't have a ladder rack on ours, so uh, I'm either going to have to haul it on the roof rack in the Jeep, which I don't want to do. I thought about making the thing for it to slide underneath our camper since it's so high off the ground and as long as we're not taking it off road, it would be fine under there. But that's something I'd have to get some measurements on and check around on. So for now, just let me get this out of the box and we'll take a closer look at it. So here's the tank out of the box with the accessories. This is a handle that will go on the front side that will make it easier to pull. And you also can hook this around your ball on your hitch so you can, whoop, there it goes, so you can tow it to the dump station. And I've also been told that if you go ahead and insert that, it makes it easier to hand pull this. It does have some big wheels. It's got ball bearings and a clip to hold that wheel on. And of course, here's your connection hose. And then all your different fittings and caps. And uh, we'll go over that at a later time as we're actually hooking it up to use it. This has a system that you can hook your water hose into and it will spin around inside there and jet clean the inside of this and then you have your place to where if you're just hooking up a sink with a water hose which is the way our pop-up is the only thing we'll be draining into this is gray water from the sink so we'll just hook a water hose from the camper to that and uh this should last us a week and without having to dump it till time to go home it does have a big handle on the end. Let me move these parts. Now this, all this weighs 36 pounds, I believe. So you are looking at having to tote more weight. And like I said, it, it has a handle. There's your hook to keep it level when it's on the ground and also to uh, hook it to your ladder rack if you have one. But yeah, you just, uh, some of these you can get with the little side valve that you pull up to empty. This one doesn't have that. You would just hook your hose up there and then lift you want to take this cap off so you get air through there, but you would just lift it and just let it drain. I have to excuse my mess in the floor. Okay, I mounted my wastewater tank on my roof rack. That thing weighs about 36 pounds. Now, believe it or not, this has 21 gallons. You have to excuse the noise in the background, my neighbor's getting the roof put on. But that 21 gallon tank weighs 36 pounds and it will fit in this front storage compartment. But that means there's 36 pounds in there. 
and you take up space for other stuff and I like to put my lightweight stuff up here so with me moving this back here you can see my front spring perch is about right in front of the tire there so let's say that that front spring perch mount would be about there so the heaviest part of this tank is this back part so all that weight is on the axle so it doesn't attribute any weight to my tongue weight which i want to keep as low as i can for uh you know to stay in the specs of what my cherokee trailhawk is ready to tow now i do have enough tongue weight on the front of this for uh, my 10 to 15 percent uh, that you need on your vehicle so the tongue weight rating is still good but if i put that 36 pounds on the front that pretty much equals a full propane model so you kind of see where i'm getting at so uh, i just made this these rails here keep it from going side to side and then i put a, a strap across the back and then the extra piece that's loose i go across into the front and i also put a crossbar here and a wing nut on this piece that goes it pinches the handle here and it's just a loose piece it'll come completely off and i normally have a step stool or my ladder when i'm taking this off let's just lay that down there i have to get that but anyway it's loose now and it'll just lift up off of there just like so and then my wastewater or my gray water drain is right here so i'm on the same side so i just have to lift it down put it on the ground put my hose to it and we're good to go <laughs>